Hello, hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm very, very excited. I made these beautiful shoes. This is how it looks. It came out so perfect and beautiful. And I'm going to share with you how I made it, including how to take your own measurements. To begin, you need any kind of yarn. You need a crochet hook. You need a tape measure to take measurements. And you need a needle to use in stitching so the first step is to make a slip knot this is how I make a slip knot after making the slip knot adjust it to fit the size of your crochet hook then take the measurements of your foot or your baby's foot from heel to toe then multiply that by two then add six centimeters for example mine is seven centimeters from heel to toe times two that is 14 then if i add six centimeters to the 14 i get 20 so i'm going to chain 20. i'm going to make a foundation chain that measures 20 centimeters i chained 42 measuring 20 centimeters after that chain two and yarn over skip the two you have chained into the third stitch from your hook make one half double crochet this way yarn over go to the next stitch make one half double crochet yarn over go to the next stitch make one half double crochet yarn over go to the next stitch make one half double crochet yarn over go to the next stitch make one half double crochet so we are going to work one half double crochet into every stitch across until the end of your chain so i'm coming to the end of row one i'm making the last half double crochet here at the end of this chain to complete row one that way to begin row two chain one and turn after turning continue making one half double crochet make one half double crochet into every stitch across this is row two so you make one half double crochet into every stitch and Continue that way until the end. So I'm almost finishing row two. At the end, this chain one we make. This chain ones that we make at the ends. Ensure that you work at the top of the chain so that the edges or these ends will be straight and uniform this way. Then to begin row three, chain one turn your work and continue working one half double crochet into every stitch across continue working one half double crochet into every stitch across this is row three so continue working that way until the end of this row three I'm at the end here of row three. And remember to work on top of the chain one, the chain ones that we make when turning so that your edge will be straight and uniform this way. To begin the next row, you chain one. Then that is the pattern. Continue working that way until you have about four centimeters until you have a total height of 
four centimeters. So I have worked six rows and it measures four centimeters. I'm going to chain one. Then we are going to divide this shoe. Count the number of stitches you have from one end to the other. For me, I have 42. From this end to this stitch marker, I have 14. This the center one 14 and this other end 14. So count equal number of stitches on this side and this side. The center one can have a different number as long as the sides have equal number of stitches. Then we are going to work towards the first stitch marker. So make one half double crochet towards this first stitch marker. Towards the 14th stitch. So make one half double crochet. Going towards the marked stitch. That is the 14th stitch. This is the 13th. Then the marked is the 14th. I will remove the stitch marker and work there. This is my 14th stitch. Then this center portion, we are going to decrease it. Yarn over, go to the next stitch, pull up a loop. When you have three, go to the next stitch, pull up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all the four loops. The next one will be one half double crochet. So we will be crocheting two together. The next one we crochet it as one, crochet two together, the next one as one. After one half double crochet, crochet the next two together this way. When you have four loops, pull through all the four. The next one is one half double crochet. Then crochet two together. When you have three loops on a hook, go to the next stitch, pull up a loop. When you have four, pull through all the four loops. So continue that way until you complete this center portion. I'm crocheting the last two here to finish this center portion. This is the front of this shoe. Then I'll remove this stitch marker and work one half double crochet going to the other side. So work one half double crochet going to the end and I'm making the last half double crochet here to finish this row. After that I will chain one and cut. Then we are going to fold this into two this way to identify the midpoint here. Then after identifying the midpoint, you come here, go two stitches behind the marked one and attach yarn here. And tie ones to secure this yarn. Go through this loop where you attach this yarn. Pull up a loop. Chain one. In the same stitch, make one single crochet. Now we are going to switch to single crochets. We were doing half double crochet. Go to the next stitch. Make one single crochet. Then now remove this marked one this is the third stitch now make one single crochet then go to two more so that we make them five so this is four and then the fifth one before turning after doing this five before turning i will go to two more and turn so in total we end up making 
seven single crochets here this way so in total I have seven single crochets row two turn without chaining skip the stitch below the chain and into the next one make a single crochet to the next one make a single crochet two go to the next make a single crochet three go to the next make a single crochet four go to the next make a single crochet five go to the next make a single crochet six then go to two more on this other side skip this stitch below the chain and go to two more so this is one and two so in total that is eight that this is the pattern i have written row three turn without chaining skip the stitch below the chain go to the next one make one single crochet go to the next one 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 one single crochet then the last one the seventh one after that go to two more on this other side so in total we will end up having nine single crochets this is the pattern I have written up here then to begin row 4 turn without chaining skip the stitch below the chain go to the next one and make one half double crochet go to the next one make one half double crochet and continue that way until you make eight single crochets so this is the eight one i'm making after that go to two more on this side so we will end up having 10 single crochets row four so that is how we work this one turn without chaining skip the stitch below the chain and make one single crochet across then at the end go to two more after that turn without chaining and continue working that way i have written the pattern here it is just the way we were working continue working that way then i will see you at row nine so this is row nine i have made nine rows and here i have eight stitches left on either side what i'm going to do i will turn skip the stitch below the chain slip stitch into the next stitch this way then now from the next one make one single crochet and continue making single crochets across continue making one single crochets across until you have one stitch left at the end then i will skip this one stitch because at the beginning i slip stitched into the next stitch so i will skip it turn without chaining slip stitch into the next stitch so that i continue working from the next one this way work one single crochets across to the other end and at this end i'm also going to skip the last stitch to match the decrease i made at the beginning turn without chaining slip stitch into the next stitch then work one single crochet from the next one this way 
and do single crochets across then at the end here I will skip one to match the decrease I made at the beginning and this is how it looks I will chain one and cut this is how it looks so far then I will come here at the joint between these two pieces connect attach my yarn here pull up a loop going along with this loose yarn after pulling a loop chain one then I will make one single crochet across I'll make single crochets across following this line here this joint between these two pieces the side piece and this other piece so continue making one single crochet into every stitch at the joint here one single crochet across following this line to the other end so continue working that way one single crochet across until you come to the end here I'm at the end here I'm making the last one this is how it looks then I'm going to smoothen this edge by making one single crochet across so continue making one single crochet across until you get to the other side continue that way until you get to the other side one single crochet across so I'm done I'm on this side I'm making the last one here this joint I'll make a slip stitch this way then leave this yarn there we are going to come back to work on it later we want to stitch the bottom and the heel of this shoe so that we make we form a shoe sole we are going to stitch across here so use yarn and needle to stitch across going along with this loose end you go through one stitch on this side and the corresponding stitch on the other side when going along with these loose yarns and stitch using this needle and yarn across go through one stitch this side and the corresponding stitch on the other side while going with these loose yarns and stitch across then when you have three about three centimeters left when you have about three centimeters left to complete about three centimeters left we are going to make a zigzag stitch here so you go in and out in and out of all of these stitches we have here remember at the beginning I told you to measure the length of your foot from heel to toe times two times two because you are folding this way then add you added six centimeters six centimeters because we are skipping this three centimeters and making a zigzag stitch then we are going to pull them to form a sole that is why we added the six centimeters so after going through all the stitches you have you pull to completely close this loop then make a few stitches here so that this loop is completely closed and secure 
so that it is completely closed and it's secure then secure your ear piece this way so we have found a shoe sole at the front side of this shoe then I want this line to be the edge of my shoe sole so I will follow this line to the back this way this will be the heel of this shoe so stitch this way going to the other side you stitch across here going to the other side and when you get here on this line on this line you stop then these stitches you go in and out in and out just the way we did to the other side you go in and out in and out of all these stitches after that you pull to completely close the loop and make a few stitches the way we did the other side and that is it we have formed a shoe sole next we are going to come back to this yarn we left here and continue working so you chain three and make one double crochet we are now switching to double crochet make one double crochet towards the other end this is the heel of the shoe continue working one double crochet the other end at the end you chain three turn and continue working one double crochet so we are going to work three rows of one double crochet here at the back of this shoe so continue working one double crochet until the end here So that we are going to chain three and work one more row of double crochets so this is it i have three rows of double crochets i'll chain one then leave a long yarn that i will use After cutting this long yarn I will use it this is what I have now we are going to make a strap to use for our shoe so make a slip knot in chain 90 after making a slip knot chain 90 so this is 90 I have chained 90 I'm going to cut then this is how I'm going to do it the ends of this strap I will secure them at the front so that they don't disturb me while I stitch while I crochet at the back here so I take this long yarn that I cut to the inside of this shoe then I'll crochet across this line to the other end following this line to the other end so this is how you are going to do it you go through this way take the yarn from the inside go to these stitches just watch the way I'm doing it We are going to slip stitch across here
so continue doing that following this line to the other end so I am at this end making the last slip stitch then I will take this loop to the inside this way then put it from the inside and use a needle to secure it from the inside this way and cut the excess I will remove this stitch marker and these straps, these loose yarns at the end of these straps. This is how I'm going to hide them. This is how I'm going to hide them so that my straps have a nice finish and cut the excess so do the same on the other end of the this strap I will fold this shoe to identify the needle point of this front part and mark it then this is how I'm going to take this strap to the inside and now bring them to the outside near the stitch that I marked this way take this other one the same way Take it to the inside and bring it back and that is it. So go ahead and make another shoe the very same way. It is very easy and very simple to make it. This shoe came out so perfect, so beautiful. I actually liked it a lot. I'm excited and I felt like sharing the tutorial with you. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If it was, kindly leave a comment, like, subscribe, share. Then I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.